Hello, welcome to Code Kiran. My name is Sai. In this video, I'm going to explain about GNU Make. So, GNU Make is a build and automation tool. Actually, build and automation tools are used for compiling a big project to automatically solve all the errors, dependencies, and it will create a final uh, executable file, which is a target software product. So, here I show in the picture this build and automation tool will. Uh, take all the object files and uh, compile them and integrate them into a single executable file this is a simple picture when you look inside build and automation tool this uh, gnu make tool will actually uh, read some rules and uh, do some pre-processing and uh, solve all the dependencies a target software product the objects files which shown in the figure can be a features of a big project which are divided and given to software developers in your team. Each software developer will build, update or compile the object files and give it to you the actual object files or can he can also give you the source code. So each object file or a source code are given to this make utility and this make utility will or compile all these all these features and finally it will create a target file which is the output of GNU make and uh, what is the use of this uh, make file anyways when you have a big awesome project you may divide the features into different different groups and you given into your software developers and you may give, name it as feature 1 feature 2 feature 3 and so on feature n and these software developers will make some time and put some effort and they will develop these features maybe they will develop source code or maybe they will give you the object files and finally you want to integrate them into a single target software product how do you do that here you can make use of this gnu make this gnu make will combine all the object files which will make your work very easier and generate an object file or a library file or an executable file at the end so gnu make it also does some smart recompilation how it works let's find out so if you have a project and you did compile with gnu make and finally you generated an object file or a final software product and it is done so now this make file will take all the timestamps of final software products or final outputs and they will keep in a single place this make history is an assumption which i have done which is not a generic name provided by gnu make it's just an assumption which i am showing in the picture make history contains all the timestamps of your uh, final software product uh, make history can be used when you are doing a recompilation Consider you started recompiling. This GNU make GNU make tool will uh, read all the history of timestamps of your software product. If any one of the feature is updated or compiled, then the timestamp of that object file or source code will be changed. So it will compare this make history and apply to the present GNU make. So the present make will only compile the updated one and finally you will have fast compilation it is obvious that we don't need to compile all the uh, files which are not changed any timestamps you only need to compile the changed ones so this is how it works this is a smart recompilation and uh, finally it will update make history so that if you are doing again recompilation if you change anything so that it can compare them and generate fast recompilation so make file this is how it looks like the big circle here project working directory this project working directory will actually uh, your uh, build directory where your project contains all the source code and object files so gnu make is actually a shell command which is named as make when you type make in your linux shell then 
this make will start looking for a make file inside your project build directory and it will read all the files all the rules which you provided how to build or how to integrate a software product of different features and uh, these are the object files which i to mentioned each object object file represent a feature in a big project and it may contain source files or it may contain other make files as in c language you can include make files inside another make file so that if any one of the rule is not found in this make file gnu make will search in the other make files so that build can be done without any uh, interruption so this is how the actual make files are look like and we will see the syntax so simple make file this is the syntax the target this is a target target is a final output product this make will combine all the object files and generate a single target name you can name anything you can name the target anything this is the final product and this is the prerequisites prerequisites are the dependencies which i have mentioned in this arrow box so using these dependencies uh, we will compile or you will execute a shell command which is called a recipe this recipe contains a shell command for example for c language it is cc or gcc for uh, other compilations you may have other commands if you have c++ then g++ and there are separate flags and uh, the files which you have mentioned we should mention and these things comes into the recipe when you writing a recipe you should provide a tab space otherwise it won't treat as a recipe as i explained target is a final output of make prerequisites or dependencies of target recipes or shell command to compile programs so here is example here uh, we have a target named app so the make will generate a final product in your build directory called make app this app has a dependencies of object 1.0 and object 2.0 and uh, you have a recipe called cc hyphen wo app object 1.0 object 2.0 this is a c language compilation and respective command here cc is a gcc command and hyphen wo hyphen wo is a flag which you are mentioning to cc that final output name should be the name called app and these are the arguments which specifying the dependencies for the cc command cc is a gcc or cc or gcc it's a gnu compiler collection and object 1.0 object 2.0 are the sub targets we are telling how to generate this object 1.0 and object 2.0 if you don't have this object 1.0 or object 2.0 then there is a rules for this so this is a rule so the target name is object 1.4 and object 2.4 and following the dependencies uh, object 1.c and header.h so in order to generate object 1.0 you should have a file called object 1.c and a header file called of header.h this make will keep track of uh, all the timestamps in your build directory timestamps of object file timestamps of c files uh, timestamps of header file so it will keep track of everything if you change any one of these files it will start recompiling only these files it's not uh, cha not changed one unchanged one so we have a recipe for to generate object 1.c it's a cc command Uh, gcc compiler hyphen c opg 1.c hyphen c is a simply a c programming flag object 2.0 similarly other than the target names we also have tasks this clean is a task so if you not compiling anything if you want to delete everything in your present working directory not the source files the final product file so that if you are giving your project to anyone it will look good it will look clean so you should clean the project before giving to anyone so here it is the cleaning doesn't need any dependencies doesn't need any source files or object files 
just you need to give the recipes with a tab so tab is very important please remember that if you don't provide tab this is not treated as a recipe in a make so rm is a remove it's a shell command and app is a uh, the product which the final product which make is compiling or generating object 1.0 object 2.0 other than app we are also generating object 1.0 and object 2.0 so this is the simple make file in the next video i am going to write a simple make file and uh, a simple example of c files and object files uh, use our basic concepts of make file thanks for watching my name is sai peace out